Matt Springer was a specialist mining engineer, deep in debt to the Kitsune Corporation that had trained him and paid for his flight to the Outer Ring. His best hope to dig himself out of financial ruin was to run a solo manned fuel mining rig for a few years. His sanity would take a hit, but once he was out of the hole and had a few years experience under his belt, he could reach for the stars themselves. This deep space ice field was within his lease site and provided fuel for all Kutsuni Corp long range haulers with its rich deposits of helium free. The site was a full orbital ring around a brown dwarf and consisted of mostly spherical lumps of pink ice. The automated drones would locate a sufficiently valuable block of ice and modify its orbit so it would intersect with a refinery that would pop the ice, extract the fuel, and purify the water for separation. Once the helium free tanks were filled, Max would call for a tanker to come and swap them off for empty ones. He got paid per full load. The faster he filled, the faster he got out of debt. Occasionally something missed or got jammed up. Drones took a hit or got lost. This is why a human operator was needed for this operation. The refinery itself was grimy and old, covered in water, ice and worn down. But structurally sound and with a little work, it would hum along nicely. Matt sat at the console, day 108 and he had grown a respectful beard. A light flashed on the drone board and he brought up the camera feed as he opened the report. The drone had found a super rich ice asteroid, but it was covered in a dissipating carbonaceous film. Matt frowned and looked at the feed again. The film was invisible to the optical camera, but it was glowing slightly on the thermal filter. He panned the camera looking for a reason for this heat and contamination, seeing nothing. Matt made note of the time and location of the anomaly and settled back down to a routine, boring shift. By day 201, Matt had shaved his head and face. Cleaning all that hair was a pain, and the supply shampoo was terrible. He sat down at the console with his coffee substitute. A drone had found another slightly warm, slightly carbonous ball of rich fuel. He marked the location and time and compared it to the last one found. It was the exact same location relative to the brown dwarf. He rubbed his chin and brought up the scan logs for the Feldstar. star. He ran a month of scan logs, gas detection and gravity measurements through a graphing simulator. There was a constant drain of hydrogen from a single area, followed by a pause, and then another drain and a pause. He expanded the logs to 200 days, and there was a pattern. All the hydrogen was sucked out of a single area, then a helium-free ice cube would appear in orbit. Matt started pacing around the small command cabin. Something in the planet was making the belt from hydrogen. Matt compared the galactic cost of hydrogen to the cost of helium free. It was a 300 to 1 cost difference. Matt set about modifying the mining drone. He attached the hydrogen tank to the rear and ran a cycling interface to allow it to open the tank. Hydrogen compressed almost to a liquid would exit on the sides of the nozzle rather than the end avoiding any propulsion issues. He sent the drone to the coordinates above the hydrogen sink and had it empty the tank. He couldn't see the gas itself, but after dumping the third load of gas, there was a notable change in the gas detectors. Matt emptied 82 tanks of hydrogen into the feeding zone and waited. Nothing happened immediately, but he could see the planet gas levels were dropping again in the area. Matt imagined great space whales fusing the gases inside the planet and launching the fuel to space as waste injection. A week passed and Matt was feeling dejected. Following the excitement of discovering the source of the fuel, he was now feeling deflated having dumped all that gas on hunch. He stood up and walked to the food dispenser for another cup of fogged coffee. He got halfway back when he saw the drone light flashing. He picked up his pace when a second light came on. By the time he had made it back to the console, half his console was blinking at him. The drones had found enough fuel to fill four tankers. He called for offload and began processing as fast as the refinery could go, feeding all excess hydrogen back to the planet. He set the drones to move the fuel into a line that slowly fed itself into the refinery. Another week passed, and Matt had managed to get the backup refinery working as well. Tankers were arriving twice per shift and once in his sleep period. His debts were paid off, and everything he earned now was profit. Day 360, and Matt had stopped the flow of hydrogen to the surface. He left in four days, his passage to a pleasure world already booked. He watched the brown door through the viewfinder and wondered what was down there in those clouds and crushing pressure. He scanned the gas levels on the planet. A second location further along the equator of the world was showing the signs of whatever was converting the gas to fuel and smiled contently, knowing his space well had a friend to keep them company now.